All right, in this video, I'm going to make these two landscape rocks here. Basically, I start out with a cardboard frame. The frame is consisting of cardboard L's, like you see in this video. I get these from Lowe's. They're on appliances like stoves, for, uh, refrigerators, dishwashers. They protect the corners. Well, I cut them up, and I use them as a frame that you're seeing here as an overall view of the shape of the rock I'm going to make in this video. And then you'll see me now continuing to make the frame, which I'm using the cardboard L's. I even sheet some of the, the frame with some of this cardboard L that I've opened up, like thick plywood, and it's uh, usually after I make the frame, I just skin it with cardboard, but you're about to see me finish up with the cardboard L's and start to use cardboard, which is normally what I do, but this made it more rigid. So again, just getting a basic shape of cardboard to start the process out. box and I taped it to where it would stay shut because what I'm about to do is going to be hammering on it a little bit. So I just take two of the corners to start out with because these are going to be my lower side of the rock and I'm basically just going to knock them in a little just to give it a, a little and, and this core will give us structure. It won't sag and collapse as much, but that's the beginning of it right there. And if, if you don't like something, you can cut it with a razor knife and re-screw it together. Um, the idea is to get this to look like not a box. We don't want a box. Okay, I've just mixed up a, an S-type cement, which means it has the lime. It's a pre-mixed pre -mix mortar that I got from Lowe's. It's probably like about a four to one sand cement ratio, which is weak for me, but it's not the end of the world. I've made it up to where it's, you know, the old days of sticking a trowel and putting it upside down to where the mud stays on it. That's kind of a, a viscosity test, and that's just perfect. So. What I'm going to do is just to give this, because right now it's not screwed, in order to make it stay on the table better, or if you're in the ground, if you go around the perimeter with just a throw of mud, it will be, it kind of stabilizes it, it won't move. So right now, that's all I'm going to do.
Okay, it's been 12 hours since I mudded these. Last, yesterday, it's now morning, and it's about 40 degrees out. I think our high is gonna be about 54. That's what it was yesterday. Not real high temperatures, ambient temperatures to be making mud and get it to cure in a short period of time. But I, I gotta say this, even with the retarded uh, uh, cure rate that we're ex experiencing, this is a tough rock today. One three-eighths of an inch coat of regular mortar, no additives to strengthen it, to help it cure. Uh, no, nah, this, is, this is structural today. I could actually texture this and be done with it. That's not my intent. My intent is to put another coat of mesh on there with the mud. I'm going to have then two three-eighths. Now I'm at three-quarters of an inch. Now keep in mind that when I was making this rock, initially I threw more mud at the bottom. One, to hold it in place so it wouldn't move. Two, I always fatten up my rim because if I turn this thing over, it's looking like a swimming pool. It's a turtle shell swimming pool. But I'll tell you that on a swimming pool, the bond beam is where the pressure is exerted. That's where we fatten it up and we add more steel. We call it surcharging. There's more frequency of steel and more concrete and that's a bond beam and that's where your strength is. Same thing with this rock. You got to, and you saw me, I put mud on the bottom thicker and then I tried to go up to three eighths. When I got done, I had leftover mud on both of these rocks and I added more to it. So I'll bet you I've got, you know, a good inch right down there right now, but I'm going to turn these over and show you that they're structural right now. 12 hours later, it's ridiculous, okay? Cement does not receive its strength for 7, 75% at seven days. This is not even a full 24 hours yet, and I'm confident that I can move this. Now I'm gonna roll it over, and I'm gonna put all the weight on this backside, and I don't fear it breaking. It could, if I was thin. Uh, I'm actually gonna tip it that way, but right now, Again, I got a good inch all the way around. In some areas, it looks like I'm two inches, but I don't care about that. I used 40 pounds of mix on this. It's a 40-pound rock, and today it's structural. I'm going to put another coat on it. This one, again, the same way. I'm not fearing. You, you know, when you're moving a rock that hasn't cured and it's thin base like this, it can crack. It can fracture, and that can be the undermining of it. So it's not advisable that we do this, but for the sake of the video... I always like to show and demonstrate the techniques that we have of that mesh being one variation to what mortar, this is just a regular mortar, but that mesh reinforces it all, grabs it all and makes it stay together. This one, oh my gosh, this is really thick. I had more mud, now some of that slag and it pooched underneath the rock, that's, that's almost like three inches right there, but typically about an inch is what I've, Gained. And now when I add more mud to this, I'm going to add a little thicker. I always make the base of the rock thicker. It keeps it strong. It makes a rim. So right now, today, um, I was thinking about the, I was watching the actual footage of me making these rocks last night on the, on the computer. And I noticed two things on each rock. One, I'm not real happy with the bulk shape. This rock is going to be fractured. It's going to be more textured. This is going to be round granite. And I set it on my wall, on the base of my wall, just like that other rock. So this one here is, I'm looking at the footage and I'm going, look, that's vertically plumb. A round granite rock should have a round here. And what I failed to do in the cardboard formation, because I haven't made a cardboard rock in years. Um, so... In the cardboard, what I should have done on the base is we used to take the bottom of the cardboard and we'd make a slit on it. And when we made a slit on it, we would take and fold it like that and that would make it cup in. What I should have actually done on the cardboard on this rock is I should have made it more round. I didn't, and I should have, and I could have. And I, I can still fix this, but my, my point is in the cardboard, Let's spend a little more time getting that cardboard shape to the end image and shape that we want to end up with, minimizing the need for what we call definition mud. Our objective now is to get structure over our bulk shape and at the same time get that bulk shape to being right where it should be. It's like in the case of my Easter Island statue. I took a lot of time to get the formation of that cardboard exacting to where I could just take three quarters of an inch of mud over the whole thing and be done with it. There was no need for definition mud. And that's 
what I failed to do in this one, but again, sometimes when you're doing a cooking show, you don't always make it just right. You know now, get your cardboard closer to what it is. Now with the sense of uh, you make a rock, you look at it, you go, oh, I don't like that, I don't like this. You can cut it, you can add more cardboard. I could take, a, I was thinking about taking some styrofoam mud, because I've got some, and just throwing it on here after I get my next coat on, just literally define this rock to where it looks more round like a granite should be. This one we're gonna texture, you're gonna see it. So right now, today, uh, the objective is, is get one more layer of the 3 eighths of an inch of mud with the mesh on it. Now I got, and I can stand on these, jump up and down on them, they're not gonna break. Currently, as green as they are, I wouldn't even try that. But after the fact of them curing 28 days, I feel confident that I could step all up and down on this one and it wouldn't go anywhere, all right? But I'm not gonna stay there. I'm not gonna go minimalist. Anyway, I'm gonna add another coat to these.